for question five we have this question the platform f or basically the platform with the frame that's attached onto the platform of frame f is rotating about the fixed point o with a constant angular velocity of 0 0.3 radian per second counterclockwise and the particle p over here is traveling clockwise along a circular track with a constant speed of 10 mm per second with respect to the platform for the instant when the platform and the particles are positioned shown, determine the absolute velocity of P and the absolute acceleration of P. Okay? So this question will test your concept. And I think it's a very good question. So let us begin. So I will split this uh, part into two portions. So we know that velocity of P can split the velocity of P respect to the frame and the velocity of P prime respect to the absolute frame. So this frame is a body attached frame and this frame is the absolute frame and it's usually measured from the fixed point. So all fixed points, right, are actually the absolute frame. Okay? So, so let's analyze this. Velocity of P respect to the body attached frame. We know that it will look something like this. The velocity vector will be going down because it is moving in a clockwise direction at a constant speed of 10 mm per second. So, we know that the absolute velocity has to be uh, be tangent to this circle, okay? At, at least with respect to this frame, uh, tangent to this circle. Hence, we know the vector will look something like this. And we know the vector should be somewhere in negative 60 degrees direction. Okay, so that's velocity of B from F. And what's the value, the magnitude of this? And that will be 10 mm per second, okay? Next, velocity of P prime. So, Velocity of P prime is always measured from the absolute frame. Usually, you can take this from any uh, fixed point. Lah. Okay? So, how can you find the velocity of P prime? Very well, simply, you can use omega cross with the position vector of P prime with respect to O. Okay? So, you just need to find out this length through trigonometry. Okay? So, you just need to analyze these two uh, diagrams over here. So, that's the concept. And this is the working. So velocity P is equal to velocity of P respect to frame plus V P prime. And then we know that omega is moving in a clockwise direction. Hence it has been negative K. We cross with the position vector that is in 30 degrees. And then very simply we can relate the angular velocity of V P from frame. You don't really need to do this, but I'm just doing it now, okay? So that's the first part. The most, most important thing is you need to know that it's 10 in a negative 60 degrees direction. So just by simply looking at the diagram, you'll know. Lah. Okay? Next, we already know what's VP from frame. Now let's find VP prime. So VP prime is just omega of P prime in the absolute frame cross with the position vector of VP prime. Alright? Very simple. The cross product, you can do it very easily, but how you find out R of P prime you can use Pythagoras theorem, okay? Because over here, this would form a 90 degree triangle. This is 20, here is 40, hypotenuse is 40, and here will be 20, very easy, you can find what's the length of RP prime. Okay, through Pythagoras theorem. Once you find out what's RP prime, very simply, you can do your cross product to find your uh, VP prime. So that will be 6 square root 3 in the 30 degree direction. Now you got VP prime and VP from frame. Just add these two up and then you can very simply find out your velocity of P. That will be 14.42 in a negative 13.9 degree direction. So that's the answer. Next, we're trying to find the acceleration. So acceleration, I will break this down again. We know that it will be moving uh, red, like Point P respect to the frame is moving at a constant velocity and also the rotation of the frame is also moving at a constant angular velocity. So what can we uh, say about this is there's only centripetal acceleration for both. Okay? So acceleration of P respect to the frame we will see over here because P respect to the frame is always moving. The length is actually fixed and is always moving. And then we realize that it is centripetal acceleration. So by using the centripetal acceleration formula, so negative v squared over r, we can find out what is acceleration of p respect to the frame. The vector will show the direction. Okay. 
now our solution of b prime over here we also know that's uh i say centripetal acceleration so by using negative r omega square we can simply find the centripetal acceleration of a b prime so quite simple next we have the Coriolis acceleration so Coriolis acceleration we can use 2 omega cross velocity vector okay this this is a diagram for you to see properly so like I said whenever you do the Coriolis acceleration let's imagine as you're doing chapter 1 and block out everything else and just label on the vector so I'll bring forward one yep so over here we can clearly see that it is moving linearly and there's a angular velocity so this will be a curvilinear motion and all curvilinear motion will have Coriolis acceleration and then the linear velocity is in the ER direction Coriolis acceleration is in the E theta direction just like tangential acceleration okay so very simply you can evaluate this to be oh wait yeah over here 6 in the 30 degree direction so now you got all 3 of this acceleration just gonna add them up together and then very simply you'll find out that your acceleration of P will be 3.2741 in 101.22 degree direction so that's your answer okay so that's all for question 5